So I asked my friends on Instagram what advice would they give to someone who wants to start his or her studies in biotechnology and here's what I got. Welcome to the biotech channel and thanks for being here. As I mentioned, I asked my friends on Instagram what advice would they give to a newbie in biotech. So first of all, let's look at some numbers. I have 19 friends on Instagram who have something to do with biotechnology and 15 of them have some advice for you. Well, I had to ask some of them personally via DM because you know, some of them don't feel like replying. And the number of advice that I got multiple times were six, so I'm not going to repeat them. And now we have nine pieces of advice for new students in biotechnology, some of which you might already have in your mind and the others might be new for you but they're all very important and they all can help you in one way or another. And by the way, all the advice that I've got was in German, so I had to translate it. So I have written it down and I'll be reading it to you from my tab. So let's see what piece of advice my Instagram friends have for you. So here we go. Do your research before starting your studies. Look carefully with detail into the structure of your degree and find out whether it's BS or BE. So this one's for students in Germany, because in Germany we have um, some universities that offer biotechnology as Bachelor of Science and some as Bachelor of Engineering. So I think this advice is pretty clear. Look into the content of uh, not just your degree, but for each module, and that will give you an idea of what you will be doing during your studies. Never miss the first and last lectures and never miss out on the orientation week in the beginning. So this is pretty helpful actually. So uh, the orientation week, like they'll be teaching you all about the university, like what you'll be doing in your studies, the online portals, the examination and uh, the focal or the focuses of your degree course, uh, lab orientation and um, around the campus, like what does the campus look like and the libraries and the learning material, like there's a lot going on in the orientation week. So don't ever miss that. That's really important. So this one's pretty nice. Always plan your week up front. Like if you must work, then make a schedule for everything and follow it strictly. Don't waste too much time. Make time for studies, sports, social life, family. And sometimes if, you, if it gets hard, don't cry. Set your priorities straight. That's really good. Prepare yourself for overnights and overtimes. Hours long of lab work, sometimes even alone sometimes in groups that don't work that well. It could be difficult, so have the mental strength for dealing with such problems and don't ever be completely dependent on your group members or friends. Just do your stuff yourself. That, that, that's a good one, yes. Um, you'll, I mean, if you're working in a lab as a student, so there will be like groups, so sometimes the group doesn't work that well. Someone's not well prepared or sometimes... The chemistry is just not right. So yeah, that happens. So the fifth advice that we got, study your lab work before, know and understand what you're supposed to do, plan your whole experiment, do your calculations before and write everything down. Never panic in the lab. Always have your laptop with you. Yes, agreed. And advice number six, always go to the lectures and make your own notes. So this is actually pretty basic, but really important one. Like if you go to the lectures, you'll have a better idea of what's going on in that subject. So uh, during your exam preparation, you won't struggle that much. So go to the lectures. It has huge benefits. That's all I can say. So this one's a fun advice. Do something for your mental health, like sports, dance or parties. Yeah, agreed. Do that. So number eight we have make nice contacts and friends. Try to gather as much information about the modules as possible. Talk to your seniors, lab engineers and professors. Have nice group, um, sorry, have nice group discussions. And always solve the past papers before the exams. So yeah, so basically this one means be social, like be socially active. And um, the past papers part, yes. Sometimes the questions get repeated or um, if they don't, you'll have a better idea of what that professor is going to ask. So. Yeah, do that. That's, that can really help you. The last advice that we've got is um, actually this one was for internship, like for your internship. But this also applies to your thesis. So um, it says, don't just take the first offer that you get. Get a topic that you know better about and that interests you more. 
So if it's a topic that you don't know much about and um, you struggle at a point during your thesis or internship, then you might have problems with uh, writing your thesis or um, defending it in front of your professors. I mean, that could be really tricky. Like uh, the professors will ask something about your work that you have done, but also on, um, on the substance of your work, like uh, the thing that you have done, why you had to do it this way and... Um, was there another way and what happened actually there, like the theory part of it, like the background of your work. So, I mean, not the background of your work, but the background of the topic that you worked on. So if you don't enjoy the topic, you might struggle answering those sort of questions and the defending might not go that well. So you might end up with uh, bad points or uh, ECTS, whatever you call them. So those were the advice that I've got on Instagram from my friends and I hope uh, that it was a little bit helpful. And if you've got any questions, let me know in the comment section and that's been it, I guess. So catch you guys in the next one and thanks for watching.